lost in this dark, the only way that you can get to where you need to be is by listening to the echo interference. And you can hear like the distortion and the flashlight starts to flicker, letting you know where to go. And it's nearly pitch black here. You can see a little light hanging above. And then over there is a chair. And then there's some boards on the floor. It's just like a trial and error thing, you know, push forward to get, find the, the source of the disturbance, and you keep going. And the light that was over your head becomes a light in a hallway. You can hear these weird moaning sounds. Like somebody's sexing. And once again, you are inside the dollhouse. Frozen and iced over. turned on its side. See? Now you're upside down. You're on the ceiling. Little bizarro things. We're all turned upside down. And back to the crazy living room. Begins. In the first game, you get a VHS tape that you can't really see at first because you play, you find it in the hospital. You play it in the hospital, and there's a woman and she's talking, and it turns out that that woman is Lisa. And um, it's not to the very end of the game that you can see it in its entirety. And she basically just says things like, what is keeping this child alive? She's horribly burned, unusually high fever. And it gives you the hint that whatever is going on with... Oh, shit. There's another hole. Take that leap of faith. I don't know if I'd be able to do that. Cutting 
between the film were images of a different nature. Uh, and here is my nemesis. This is what appears to be just a regular floor in a normal level. There are mirrored walls all around. Kind of like the invisible walls in um, Nocturne, SMT Nocturne. Yeah, so you just gotta follow these around to you actually get to where you need to be. Pain in the ass. So I'll probably start cursing a lot if I don't <laughs> find my way out of here in timely fashion. There's where I need to be. It's just not that easy getting there. Once you think like you know you're there, you see you're like, oh I can get there, and it's like, oh, it's a trap. And you are denied. Dahlia on the bed. And it's time to run. Hello, Mr. Blair. And check out how messed up they look now. As I'm running, I'm counting. I'm like, turn left once, turn turn right twice, turn right. and it's crazy. I, I think that there are walkthroughs that you can find that will get you through a little easier than the way I'm taking you, but I'm just familiar with the way that I always go. And like I said, I'm constantly counting. And that's basically how I play games anyway. Like, if I'm playing Castlevania, like, I have a good idea how many times I need to hit the boss because I count how many times I hit him before I defeat him, so if I need to hit him 20 times, like, I'll be like, one, two, and I'll just count as I go along, and everything is counting with me. And I'm hit with a board. Board of fours. That's it. No more running in this bullshit game again. 